I was looking forward this evening to previewing with you a manuscript titled Sapphire, Poems to My Father. And then five days ago, Saturday morning, Pittsburgh, Sabbath services, my people. So tonight I want to tell you a story. It begins with an Ars Poetica, the art of poetry. Each poem, each poem, the practiced pause, test of faith. What now? Once more still till mystery might, mystery might reveal whose word? Whose words in sanctuary's light? Breaking news. Robert Bowers circled his arms round the tree of life. Lightweight magazine fed gas operated semi automatic. Then sprayed wet rage on the temple walls. All Jews must die. And so sentenced, so sentenced his death penalty for victory in war reborn to cleanse the homeland cause can't sit by. I'm going in. And he did. This next poem is one of several inspired by selected verse from the Hebrew Bible book of Exodus. Exodus Remix, chapter 22. Thou shalt neither vex a stranger nor oppress him, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. Tell me, did, did you have a Grandma Sarah? Grandma Sarah on Flatbush Avenue, Flatbush Avenue, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York, red brick apartment building, maybe 10 stories, overlooked the yeshiva with asphalt playground where boys played hoops wearing their talit and yarmulkes. And grandma, grandma always in her kitchen, white stove, aluminum pot, blue flame, filled with whatever remained from the last meal and before that and so on. I tell you, I tell you that soup was at least 20 years old. <laughs> and grandma knows, grandma knows all is safe, full, warm, secure, the pogroms long gone, Poland long gone, surrounded by her own. But no, no, not for long, for now they come, come pouring in, storming in Puerto Ricans. The Puerto Ricans from God knows where, they are everywhere, speaking Spanish, making noise, making problems, and the neighbors, her neighbors, her friends, they are angry, they are scared, they are gone, Miami bound, you know, like, like whoosh. Grandma? No, not 
Grandma. No, Grandma stays. Grandma bakes. Grandma bakes cookies, chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chunks, fat raisins, macadamia nuts galore. I tell you, more sugar, more butter than flour. And always a little burnt on the bottoms till her whole apartment fills with the aroma of that goodness. Then Grandma, she opens. She opens her heavy green door. She opens it wide, black, rubber, stopper, propped. Knows no need to shout for anyone in any language. Yiddish, Spanish, see all the boys and girls with their black hair and caramel skin. They pile in, just pile in, in and on and everywhere. And my grandma Sarah, she is happy. There. Smallest boy, quiet one, on her yellow vinyl chair, plate full, glass full, looks up, smiles. Eat, Tatala, eat. Exodus Remix, chapter 29. And thou shalt take of the ram the fat and the rump and the fat that covereth the inwards and the caul above the liver and two kidneys and the fat that is upon them and the right shoulder, for it is a ram of consecration. Grandpa religiously sang in the black walk to his shop, till there to bless and kill. I wonder what thoughts, as he bore witness and saw dust drink his sacramental pour, think, how would it be Cleave meat, cold, bone, till your customers come and the register rings their kosher fare. How he loved to sing. Time humbled, I wonder, my grandpa the butcher who lived to be cantor. Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. I wrote this next poem on the first morning of a Buddhist pilgrimage that began in Nepal. Sitting Shiva at the Hyatt Kathmandu. An ambling morning stroll through the five-star grounds, manicured, wired and walled sanctuary less than secure. The old city building blocks might just come tumbling through this fragile veil between me and God knows what when from the other side I hear before see the white-robed brown man perched upon his balcony, his Vedic wail soars softly up and out and over the six foot of brick between us, slips past my busy mind, seeps long chests, ribbed walls, their hardened heart once beat soft, to this same song some forty years ago. When mom died in the morning, then dad that afternoon, and grandpa sang, alone next dawn, 
remember. Talus wrapped and tefillin bound, eyes closed to a rising sun, gently rocking to the Hebrew rhythms in a cradle all his own. Since then, I join them now and again in memory deeper than bone, the cantor and the Brahmin both. We three, we all cry up and out and over. Can't recall. Can't recall why that night, of all our nights, why that night was special. Why mom took the twin brass candlesticks from their forsaken perch on the liquor cabinet and carried them to our kitchen table before dinner and then two white wax candles from God knows where there appear, standing within the rounded hollows of her bubby Hava's old golden gift gone to Patina's brown. She strikes the match head, and we three boys see she lights the one next other as they burn we watch mom no words her hands wave circles through flame three times to face gone glow then palms cup her eyes closed we three stand holy wrath Kadesh. Yiskadal the Yiskadash me Raba. Bielma divrach you say, Viam lich machuse. Bechayachon uv mo yom mechon, uv chaye de hol bet Yisrael. Biagla uzman kari viem ru. Amen. Below satin white, blazon six point blue. Twin borders bold drape her immaculate pine box bare. No nails hinge screw. Sand smooth shut. There, there. There, there lies the body of the body that bore me, my mommy all gone. Exodus Remix, chapter 17. Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock in Horeb, and thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come water out of it, that thy people, that thy people may drink. So the journey continues in the heat sun dust toward a promise foretold, a land of their own, but can't dreams drink dry. The twelve tribes travel no water past sin, crossed wilderness fast to old Rephidim, till children of Israel do raise a din. O oh, mad Moses, you kill us. We thirsty fools follow. Why Egypt tomorrow we so better off be? Our Lord be gone. We can't go on. Your dreams, your dreams drink dry. And the Lord hears again, again their cry. Faith lost in fear calls to Moses his side. Come to my rock in this Horeb's land and raise thy fist to this morphic stone. Diviner's rod do strike earth's bone. See the crystalline breach, cool water, sweet weeps. Children of dreams, my dreams drink deep.
Exodus Remix, chapter 24. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold the blood of the covenant. God of desert, storm and sand, God of war, thirst of man, oxen blood, burning dead, upon altar pour this river's red, crimson thick, Paint the man, brothers bound, lost now found, staff strike stone, twelve tribes banned. Behold the blood, thy covenant, our land. There are those of my tribe who say God needs a new home. Two temples, long down, For the third, they pray. Yet as I look about this early spring day to thin leaves illumined by the sun still high, how they sway, swing slow upon ocean's breath borne over coastal lands roll. Through windows I watch all insects that fly and how they alight with bright whirlings about, like mad, dusty devils, these dervishes of light, zigzaggy spin spinning, then float a pause flight, while I wait for words perfect as peace, for Marcus and Athena in their cat tree sleep, might their belly gray waves sink an orthodox dream and wake us to wonder this tabernacle of testimony of infinite sum, who might build God of Moses yet finer a home? Headline, group of boys lighting Jewish school bus on fire. All that was left Monday was the bus's charred and gutted shell around which burned remains of Hebrew religious books thrown upon the ground. Pendergast and Mongelli, NewYorkPost.com, May 8, 2016. Story. Once upon a Sunday evening, nearly 6 p.m., six black boys flung flaming boards aboard. Nachman Zeskin's bust busted empty. Open on Brooklyn and Lefferts Lane till front end bursted ball of flame of all a front to Beth Rifka and her school for girls. But the mastermind, no, no, never mind, say, say ringleader, captured for hate crime. Witness, a Jewish school bus. Who knew? Attention, please, Robert Boyce. He confirms it was a religious bus. And he's with the NYPD, detective, chief. Says this scene says, hate crime. Crown Heights? Broken, fallen king. Long time, Boyce knows it shows But Leon Yavich, he owns this company, and he says, my bus doesn't have any Jewish markings. No tattoos burned onto that crippled hulk. No Jude badges emblazoned in school bus yellow. And see this passerby, she lives here. Hear her say, she says, see these buses on the street all the time? They should be locked up at night. Terminal, fine. Comments. Too bad there weren't any Jew parasites on the bus when it blew up. Charge the little suspooks with terrorism and hang them. Maybe they were just bored. Last poem. Exodus Remix, 
Chapter 33. After the Shoes, United States Holocaust Memorial Museum. Do justice to this pile of old shoes? Picture holocaustos tossed separate souls on display, indifferent stare. Why, yes, yes, this we share, my God, we too, too busy to mess unholy mass. Grave sienna fades to olive cast, castaways saved to cover poor feet, repurposed death, lie empty, empty, lie. The quiet shoes, their dead chorus questions. This thy testament? Grace in thy sight, goest with us, shall it be known here. Thank you.